American Fire, Love, Arson, and Life in a Vanishing Land, by Monica Hesse is a captivating exploration of the intersection between love, desperation, and destruction in a small community. Set in Accomack County, Virginia, the book delves into the true story of a series of arsons that plagued the area in 2012 and 2013. Through meticulous research and thoughtful storytelling, Hesse presents a narrative that goes beyond the surface of criminal activities, delving into the socio-economic complexities and the human emotions that underlie them. Hesse's writing style is both engaging and empathetic, drawing readers into the lives of the characters and the community. Through her vivid descriptions and detailed research, she paints a poignant picture of the vanishing landscape of Accomack County. The author seamlessly weaves together historical context, personal anecdotes, and investigative journalism, creating a rich tapestry that illuminates the motivations and psychology of the individuals involved. One of the central themes of the book is the concept of vanishing land, which serves as a metaphor for the economic decline and societal changes that have impacted rural areas across America. Hesse skillfully captures the sense of loss and nostalgia felt by the residents as they witness their community changing before their eyes. This theme lends depth to the narrative, as it underscores the desperation and desire for change that may have driven some characters to commit arson as a means of exerting control over their circumstances. Love, in its various forms, is another prominent theme in the book. The relationship between Charlie Smith and Tanya Bundick, the young couple at the heart of the arson spree, is portrayed as a complex interplay of passion, dependence, and manipulation. Hesse delves into their backgrounds, shedding light on the vulnerabilities and traumas that may have contributed to their actions. This exploration of love extends beyond the central couple, as the author examines the interconnected relationships within the community. From parental love to the love for one's homeland, Hesse demonstrates how these emotions can drive people to both noble and destructive acts. Hesse's exploration of arson as a form of expression and rebellion is a thought-provoking aspect of the narrative. The fires are portrayed not only as acts of destruction but also as a way for the perpetrators to communicate their grievances and desires to the world. This perspective challenges readers to consider the deeper motivations behind criminal actions and reflects the larger theme of societal neglect and disconnection in rural areas. The structure of the book alternates between the unfolding arson investigation and flashbacks that provide insight into the lives of the characters. This dual narrative approach keeps readers engaged and invested in the story while also allowing for a deeper exploration of the characters' motivations and backgrounds. Hesse's ability to seamlessly shift between past and present adds a layer of suspense and intrigue to the narrative, as readers piece together the puzzle of the arsonist's motivations. In conclusion, American Fire, Love, Arson, and Life in a Vanishing Land is a masterfully crafted work that goes beyond the true crime genre. Monica Hesse's skillful storytelling and compassionate approach create a narrative that transcends the sensationalism often associated with criminal acts. By delving into themes of economic decline, love, and the search for identity, Hesse paints a nuanced portrait of a community grappling with change and the lengths to which individuals may go when driven to the brink. Through her insightful analysis and compelling prose, Hesse invites readers to contemplate the complexities of human behavior and the societal forces that shape our lives.